there, I'm DJ Alex Brown and welcome to today's gig log. I know it's been a while since I've shared a gig log on my channel, so I'm excited to be back with one today and I'll talk a little bit more about how I was able to make this possible today. I do have to give a major shout out to my helper for today, Tyler, and I'll explain a little bit more about him later in the video. We are here at the wonderful Hotel Viking in Newport, Rhode Island for the Lavoie Stickles wedding today. This couple actually hired me because I am on the preferred vendors list at this venue. I've been here a couple of times this year already, and I must say that working with the staff here is a real pleasure. And uh, they're really professional here and uh, very accommodating to vendors, so I really appreciate that. I arrived pretty early today because they're very flexible about setup times uh, so that I could get everything set up early and be able to do this gig log. So for the wedding today, I will be providing services for the ceremony, cocktail hour, and reception. Uh, the ceremony is in this room here, and uh, I have just my typical single speaker set up with a single microphone and uh, my QSC Touch Mix mixing board, and I have already tuned up the microphone to eliminate as much feedback as I possibly can. Um, as I've talked about in my past videos, very passionate about ceremony sound and tuning microphones to make sure we avoid as much feedback as possible during the ceremony, as that is a common problem. The cocktail hour and reception will both be held in the same ballroom. So I have my typical reception DJ set up for this evening. This is just a basic package. I do, of course, offer a lot of other upgrades like uh, uplighting, glow towers, custom monogram, and even marquee letters. Um, but for tonight, they just wanted something simple. This is only about a 45 person wedding tonight, so um, it's on the smaller side. And this is actually my first time in this specific ballroom upstairs. So the ballroom is the Bellevue ballroom. I've been in the ballroom that's downstairs. I believe that one's the Viking ballroom a couple of times, but like I said, it's my first time in that Bellevue ballroom today. And uh, for my lighting setup for the DJs that are watching this video, uh, I just have my typical ADJ Dots T-PAR set up, uh, very easy to set up, provides great light for uh, dancing and such, and of course it also has a remote, um, which makes it very easy to control. I have also recently added a uh, tabletop facade to my setup to help clean up my table. Um, it has just been too hectic with all the weddings I've been doing to uh, clean up all of the wires and things on my table, so I just have a tabletop facade that cleans that up. I do, depending on the wedding, sometimes use the white uh, scrims on that facade and sometimes I use the black. Um, I actually had a wedding last night that I was using the black for because they had all um, black tablecloths for this wedding, which is obviously not traditional, but it's just something I observed when I entered the uh, ballroom for that wedding last night. Today is December 10th of 2022, so this is gonna wrap up my wedding season, although I do still have some other events going on for the rest of the year. And at this point, we're gonna to head to taking a look at the ceremony. And So we have completed the ceremony and most of the cocktail hour now. Um, the ceremony went very easily. It was a pretty simple ceremony. Um, just two songs, a processional for the bridesmaids and the bride and a recessional for everyone at the end. And they left the ceremony room very quickly and went into the cocktail hour space. Um, we did actually bump up the introductions um, in the cocktail hour room, uh, which is also the reception room today. Um, just because the bride and groom didn't really have any other pictures to take or anything, so we bumped them up to about 5.40 when they were supposed to happen at about 6 o'clock. Um, just because, uh, you know, the couple wanted to go mingle and such, but we're still pushing the toasts or speeches um, to where they would have originally sat, um, just to keep on, everything on schedule. Uh, on the note of their introductions, they were introduced and came in to their first dance, and for the introductions, it was just the bride and the groom today. There was no bridesmaids or groomsmen. But for their first dance, they came directly in. Uh, they did have a custom edit of a song, and they actually had choreographed a dance that they had been practicing uh, specifically for the first dance. So they needed a very specific uh, piece of the song, um, and that all worked out greatly. 
Also, I have to give a lot of credit to Tyler for actually remembering to take the camera and record the first dance. Of course, because he does wedding photo and video, he knows to do those things. As you guys know, I forget every single gig log. I also recorded the um, audio on my computer, so hopefully I, so I should be able to stick that into the video here as well. Other than that, we'll be heading back in to uh, finish up the cocktail hour. There's still about 10 minutes left, quote unquote, of the cocktail hour um, until we move into the reception. But like I said, it is all in the same room today, so there's not really a difference um, when we move into the reception time frame. Good evening, everyone. At this time, I'd like to ask everybody to either head to the sides of the dance floor or head to your seats, as we're just about to introduce the bride and groom. I'd like to start off by welcoming everyone to Alicia and John's wedding at the beautiful Hotel Viking in Newport, Rhode Island. And before I get started with introducing the bride and groom, I'd like to take a moment to recognize the vendors here tonight, including the photographer and the venue staff who will be serving you tonight. Let's take a moment to give them a round of applause. And before I introduce the newly married couple, I need to make sure that everyone in this room is ready. So on the count of three, I want everybody to make as much noise as possible. Ready? One, two, three. It's my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Stickles. Okay guys, so we have finished the wedding. It's uh, about 10.15, the wedding ended at 10 o'clock, and they actually have a hard stop here at 10 o'clock. So there is a noise ordinance that I have to abide by. And of course, with DJing here as many times as I have already, I'm well aware of that, and I always make sure that I'm done as close to 10 o'clock on the dot as I can possibly be. And I always try and end a little bit earlier because they're very particular about that hard stop. Everything went very well from speeches to dinner to parent dances and dancing. Uh, the bride actually came up to me at the end of the night and thanked me and said, you know, that everything was perfect and the flow of everything was just exactly how she wanted it. So that was always great to hear. She said she would leave me a great review. We'll see if she makes good on that. But uh, 15 minutes worth of packing up and I'm just about to get the uh, car loaded up and get out of here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're getting married in the next couple of years and you're looking for a wedding DJ, I will leave my website link to my weddings page in the description and you can contact me to learn more about some of the services I provide that you may have seen within this video. Um, if you're a DJ watching this video and you wanna see more like this, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave the thumbs up on the video and leave me a comment if you liked it. That's gonna be it for this one. Until next time, peace.